Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about how to use measures in row header and column header of a matrix visual. If you are new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. With that, let's check it out. Here I have my sales table with these columns. In order to use measures in row and column headers both, we need to do some work around. First of all, I am creating this measures table to keep my basic measures and the master measure at one place. It is a good practice to have such blank tables to keep your measures. Now, before I start creating the solution for this, I will quickly add three basic measures, which are total sales, total cost, and margin percent. For this, I can simply use the sum x function on my sales table, which will give me the sum of the multiplications of quantity and the unit price for each row in the context. I can copy the same expression for total cost measure and just change the unit price to unit cost. These sample measures are just for the demo. You can use any other measures. Let's also create the last basic measure, which is margin percentage, which is nothing but total sales minus total cost divided by total sales. Please watch the steps carefully now. Next is to create a custom table. Click on the home option and then select enter data to create a custom table. Name of this table, I will keep as KPI track. The first column name will be time intelligence, where I will mention few time intelligence calculations. Like last seven days, MTD, QTD, and YTD. You can use any set of measures based on your requirements. Since I have three basic measures, I need to repeat these entire set for three times in the same column. The next column name I can keep as KPI, and here I need to mention my key KPI names against each item of the first column. Here I will also add another column, which I will use as index for each row of this table. It will be easy to refer these rows in my next measure with this order column. For example, order 1 means last 7 days for total sales, or order 10 means MTD margin percent. Before I create the master measure, let me show you how this will look in a matrix visual. Add a blank matrix visual, and from the new KPI track table, add KPI as row header, and time intelligence as column header for this matrix. You can format this visual based on your requirements. Now the amazing thing will be, I just need a single measure to fill all the required rows. As that you can see, I just use the total sales measure, and it is working for each row. This measure is giving same value at each place, but I need the relevant values based on my row and column measure names. So I will remove this measure and will start creating my master measure, which will do all the remaining job. For this measure, I will name as KPI track. Here I will divide the entire expressions part into three section so that it will be easy to understand. These are the best practices to follow while authoring big DAX expressions. First of all, I will start with switch function where I need to validate. If selected value from the order column is one, I need to calculate the total sales for last seven days because for order one, time intelligence is last seven days and KPI name is total sales in my custom table. I will validate the remaining part of the expression the same way. This part of the expression will fill the value at the first place where row name is total sales and column name is last seven days. I can copy the same expression and reuse this multiple time for each of the later sections. For example, I am copying this part and will just replace the order number from one to two. And for this, I need to calculate total sales for MTD. Because for order column two, the row header is total sales and the column header is MTD. You can look into the newly created custom table to verify this. Next part is all similar, and I will make it a little faster so that we will not waste time in these repetitive things. Once this first section get completed, you can copy the entire expression to reuse it in the section two, where I just need to change the order and the measure name because this section is for second KPI, which is total cost. Let's do that. The third and the last section is for our third KPI, which is margin percentage. Here I will do the change the same way, but the important thing will be to also change the format string type, because this is a percentage measure, 
and I need to show this in percentage format. Let's add this measure in our visual. And it seems I have missed the percent sign in our format string for margin percentage. Let's add that. After this you will see, we have a matrix visual, which is row header and column header both as measures. I can also add a date slicer, and my visual will show dynamic values based on the selection. This solution is going to be very useful in your Power BI projects, where you need to create such dynamic matrix visuals with KPIs in row and other measures and as column headers. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.